that's amazing. Hey, what's up you guys? Yes. I'm Christina from Refilesta and today we're going to perch some plants. Spring is around the corner and I want to clean out a little bit. Just do the Marie Kondo thing and just see what sparks joy and what doesn't and then get rid of it. I do have a lot of multiples of the same plant and I also have a lot of plants that just need some fixing up so I will also take care of that. Starting from this corner right here, I already have a few plants in mind. I have this Monstera Sandliana variegata and I do have multiples of this plant plus some propagations and this one is kind of out of control. It actually grew really nice until here and then it started producing runners since the moss pole was at its end. She has some good variegation on it but you know it's just gotten out of hand so i will give this plant a restart soon i also have this monstera deliciosa propagation in here i don't know why i have like three or four bigger monstera deliciosa so i think i should get rid of this too next on the perch list is this skindapsus argyreus getting a little bit of neglect from my side she is losing a lot of leaves on top and just balding a little bit because i tend to forget to water her and then she ends up losing the leaves i guess it's due to winter due to the watering maybe she's root bound i don't know um maybe it's all of the <laughs> above on the bottom we mainly have runners and really small leaves. I will chop her back completely and then start all over again. We will see. I do have one more plant here. This cactus fern leaf fern leaf cactus. <laughs> this fern leaf cactus. So I will grab this one for now because I have multiples of this one as well. My succulent terrarium is actually fine. I won't purge anything from it. I have two pots of succulents on top. These are also multiples of each other, so I will get rid of a few of them. Next, I have this Zinezio that I think actually looks cool, but I also have a love-hate relationship with it. I always tell my boyfriend that if he is fed up with my plants one day and he needs to like throw one out or something, he should take this one because I don't care for it. You know, with this story, I, it's already pretty clear what I should do. Just imagine a really minimalistic interior and then on one of the cupboards or something, you see like this one plant standing there. I think it would look really cool. I don't know. I'm kind of emotionally attached to it, but I also don't enjoy it as much. What do you think? Would you throw this out or would you keep it? This is harder than I thought. On the card, I actually only have plants that I really enjoy and I already know it because this is basically the prime spot for my plants to be. So if you're on here, you already have my heart. The only thing that I would consider removing is a string of heart variegata. She's growing quite well, actually. We have all of this. It's just doing so well in this little tiny pot on the card, but I have three string of heart variegatas in my home in my collection i don't know i it feels like i don't need this many right i also have a little pot of string of hearts in here that is all from propagations you can still see the moss that i just like plopped on actually i love the look of it if i see it like this it looks really nice why did I why did I want to do this? I don't want to do this to myself. They just look so nice. Oh, I don't want to get rid of it. Okay, so I will keep this one. I've decided. I will keep this one because it just is like too pretty. And then I will sell this one, which is really long. I at least reduce one, okay? Don't judge me. Down here I have my marantas, the non-variegated and the variegated form. And I love those so much. This stromanthi, for example, I already have one in my plant corner. I think this one I will give to my sister since she said she loves this plant. So I think this will be like a gift for her. Then I also have this pot with Hothos Enjoy, but I also have multiples of this. Let's put it on the pile. That's it for the cart. I think I'm pretty happy with everything that is on here except for one thing. Just look at this, okay? Isn't this sad? This is a philodendron white princess. She's a good white princess, don't get me wrong. She has great genetics. Just look at those leaves. And then this leaf right here, amazing. 
but um, she's kind of growing super weird. She lost a few leaves on this piece of stem since these were almost all white and you know what happens with almost all white plants. They die. I will just cut her up and propagate to sell because I have two more white princesses in my possession since I'm really bad at letting go of these. But I will now, I will get rid of her. Another plant that I kind of don't like as much is this Philodendron Brazil. I have it in here. I mean, it's recovering quite nice after the thrips infestation. It's not terrible. I like it in this terracotta on a wall, but it's not my favorite plant. I'll give it another chance. In here, especially on this table, I actually like everything that I have and it brings me so much joy to wake up and see this from my bed. I also have the second philodendron white princess here, which is very cute in a little terracotta pot. Then this huge Monstera Stantliana variegata as well. I also gave her the longest pole that you could imagine. So I'm very optimistic for this one. A plant that I don't enjoy as much. It's this yucca palm and since she's so low maintenance, it's really easy to take care of because I just ignore her most of the time. It just doesn't bring me as much joy, maybe because I'm not really taking a lot of care of her. So she's like out of my mind a lot. I think she will have to go. Okay, listen, I have too many Monsteras, I know, but I actually don't want to get rid of them. And I also have this one. And then I also do have this little Pothos Enjoy as well. And this is my favorite Enjoy out of my collection. I think she just grew in so well. These were propagations too. And the leaves are perfect. I think I will keep this one and then get rid of the other one. Done. On the windowsill next to me, I have a few more plants that need to go. First up, I have these peperomia it has red bags which is cool and i'm going to keep this pot it's kind of cute this one just grows wonky i probably will just give it away Ooh. next i also have another sansevieria this was a propagation once but i have my big sansevieria back there so i don't need more than one i think I have a few more plants in this window in my kitchen and these are almost all multiples as well. I have another Monstera Adansonia here, but this one is actually growing really nice and I kind of want to keep her. Obviously it's okay to have multiples if you just want to decorate with them. Another Monstera because can you have enough Monsteras? I don't think so. And a spider plant, but this is my main spider plant and I think I want to keep this one too. This shelf is mainly propagations. Don't really want to go in there. I have one more plant on this shelf that I really struggle with. It's a poison ivy Montgomery, I think. And as you can see, she is really dry. I always forget to water her. Yeah, if I forget about a plant a lot, it's probably because I don't care a lot. I'm kind of over it. I can put something else there that like sparks more joy. Out you go. In here, I have a few plants that will have to go. I don't need a third or fourth or fifth Adansonia in my home, I think. They just grow like weeds, so I like putting them everywhere. The growth pattern is kind of weird. Just look at that. Look at the stem where I propagated it. It just has a lot of aerial roots and it just looks weird. Next I have this Philodendron Hederaceum. It's really small and pathetic kind of. I just can't get it to grow right, so I will probably like gift it to someone. Next I also have this spider plant. This was, I think this was the mother plant that got thrips and then I needed to like cut it back and treat it. Look at those roots. I will probably also just for that for sale. Next on the list we have this uh, fern leaf cactus. It doesn't look like much now. I guess it will grow back in. It had, I think it had thrips at one point and then I like cut it all back and treated everything. Quite honestly, it feels really good to get rid of all of these plants and I have so much new space to fill. That's amazing. 
now I gotta choose from those white princesses. So this one will definitely be chopped and sold. And I really like this one actually. It has some good genetics. For the fern leaf cactus, I can't really sell this one at the moment. And then I have this little pot made out of cuttings and then i have these propagations in this pot yeah this is kind of funny so it grew really thin for a while and then started growing big again i will probably keep the bigger one sell this smaller pot Ta -da! these are all the plants that i'm purging today it is quite a lot when you look at it all on this tiny little table you can imagine how good it feels. It's basically like a closet clean out. I have so much more space now. It doesn't feel as cluttered and I have potential space for plants that bring me more joy than these do. For now, I'm quite pleased with myself that I finally made the decisions and addressed this issue. I can only advise everyone to try it out yourself. You will feel great. I will have a lot of work to do now, listing and propagating all these plants, but that's a topic for another video. I will leave you with this video right here to watch next. I'll see you next time. Until then, enjoy the plants and goodbye!